Hi everyone. Today we're going to be making symmetrical insects or spiders. So I went and grabbed some scrap paper and my white piece of paper is the paper that I'm going to be using to build my insect on. Okay, so here we go. Here's the steps. Once you get to your scraps, I want you to fold them all in half because we're going to be focusing on symmetry. So I'm going to fold a larger piece in half, a smaller piece. This piece I'm going to use for my head. This will be my thorax. And then this purple piece that I have folded in half will be the abdomen. And what you're going to do is you're going to draw half of your shape okay, on a piece of paper. So there is a trick though. You need to make sure you're drawing half of the shape connected to the folded edge, okay? So you have your open ends right here and you have your folded edge right here. So I'm gonna use marker so you guys can see it, but you might wanna work in pencil at home in case you make a mistake. So this will be the shape I'm gonna use for my abdomen. My head, I'll do, I want it to be a circle, so I'm gonna draw half of a circle. Well, it's pretty close, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm gonna do, let's see, again, this is the folded edge. I'm gonna do kind of like a rounded rectangle. So now, you're gonna cut these out. Make sure they're on the folded edge, double check before you start cutting. So I cut that shape up and when I open it, I've got a symmetrical shape. So now that could be my thorax. The blue I said was going to be my head and you can see I drew it on the folded edge. Cut it out, open it up, symmetrical. That will be my head. If it goes off the paper, that's okay. It's kind of fun when our art goes off the paper. And this is gonna be my abdomen. Cut that out. Here's my scraps. I'm gonna save my scraps over here. I always save extra scraps because maybe I'll wanna use them again. And there you go. Now I've got all my main body parts. I did grab some longer pieces because I thought these might work really good for my long legs. So I'm gonna fold this blue in half like that. And let's see, I'm gonna draw three legs coming off of this folded edge. So here's the fold. Okay, set it down so you can see that I have the folded edge right there. And I'm just gonna draw three legs. So I'm gonna do one leg. Two legs. And There we go, got all three. Now when I keep the paper folded and I cut them out, I'm gonna have six legs, which is perfect for my insect. So I've got six legs. Ooh. Now it looks kind of silly, but if we cut right where it's folded, now I have symmetrical legs. I'm not gluing them yet because I want to make sure I like where everything is before I glue it. That's just something that I like to do. If you want to glue it right away, you can. But sometimes I change my mind, right? I can't make a decision all the time right away because what if I like it a different way better? I don't know. I cut right there on the fold and maybe I'll have that like like that. So I want the other one to match. I put it about the same space apart. 
And then I'm going to go back. I'm going to cut this one out. Oh yeah, and I have to do one more cut on that folded line. So I cut right there. And now I have six legs. Oh, it looks like that. Yeah, there we go. Now it's right. Okay, I have some other colors. And these, I'm just gonna make some really neat shapes that I like. You can draw them first. I always like to draw them first, just in case I make a mistake. I do a kind of a half circle on that one. Maybe I'll use, I think some yellow would be a nice contrast. So I'm gonna fold my paper. And again, I'm gonna draw a shape on that folded edge. Maybe on that one I'll do, I'm gonna do kind of a zigzaggy line on there. And let me start with that. Let's try this, see how it looks. Cause I don't know, maybe I won't want too many more. I have to see what it looks like. Maybe this will be enough. Or maybe I'll want more. I'll decide once I get there. Oh, I like that. Looks like a big sun. And my half circle, like that. Or do I like it like that better? Hmm, I think I like the sun up here. Ooh, what if I went like that? Eh, I'll go this way. We'll go the long way. All right, I wanna make an eye. And actually, I think I want my eye to be black. And I have some paper left over from when I did the thorax. So, where's my Sharpie? Here it is. I folded it, there's the folded edge. But this one, it's not so important because I'm just gonna be making a shape in the middle. I wanna have a circle eye. Okay, so I have a circle on there. Cut that out. If you wanted your eyes to connect, you could draw it on the folded edge. That's for you guys to decide. You are the artist. Okay, and now, oh, I would like to use some green to make my antenna. Okay, and now that one, do I need to make it on the folded edge? Not necessarily, because it doesn't need to connect. So, I'm just gonna draw a shape right in the middle. Only the things that you want to connect so that they are exactly symmetrical need to be drawn on the folded edge. If you're just wanting a shape, then you just have to fold it and draw it. And then I have two. I'll put one on this side and one on that side. And now I'm gonna add some more shapes. Maybe I'll draw, I want that green that I used right here. I'm just gonna make some polka dots. Cut those out. I don't have to cut perfectly on the line. Not that important, they'll both match. Even if I don't go right over my marker line because I folded the paper. So I have two that are identical. No matter what I, what kind of cutting job I do. There we go. Maybe I only want three of these. I don't think I want all four. So I'll cut that one out. And now, oh, can't get them. There we go. I like them like that. Okay, so now, I think I have him pretty symmetrical. I might make a mouth, but do I need two mouths? No, but I do want to make it on the folded edge because I want one side to match the other side. So I'm gonna make a little smile, half a smile, so that when I open this, it will look like a full smile. Right 
open it up. Oh, now I have a big smile. There, I like that. He looks happy now. Okay, we're gonna also be using glue today. So twist your glue open, and then you're gonna have to take off these layers that we've designed over here. And I just like to do dot, dot, not a lot. If you had me in kindergarten, we practice dot, dot, not a lot. You don't need too much. I'll put it right there. And then I'm just gonna keep going and gluing everything down. So before I forget, I wanna put this one on there. Oh, I think my glue is a little clogged. And I'm just gonna keep gluing, making sure that it's symmetrical so it's right on the line. And I'm gonna add my feet now, okay? And so glue all your pieces down. If you like working with scissors better, and glue and paper, this is one way to make a symmetrical spider or insect.